Ambassador Haley. I'll leave the rest to you. But welcome, and we really look forward to hearing what you have to say. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, Marjorie, and thank you to Susan B. Anthony List for its tireless work on behalf of innocent children and moms. Most in the media prioritize demonization. They stoke division, putting, pitting Americans against each other. No one talks about finding consensus. Everyone goes to the barricades and attacks the other side. They've turned a sensitive issue that has long divided people into a kind of gotcha bidding war. How many weeks are you for? How many exceptions are you for? And the list goes on. But these questions miss the point if the goal is about saving as many lives as possible. You don't save any lives if you can't enact your position in the law. And you can't do that unless you find consensus. Reaching consensus starts with humanizing, not demonizing. Just like I have my story, I respect everyone who has their story. I don't judge someone who is pro-choice any more than I want them to judge me for being pro-life. Surely, we can all agree that abortion up until the time of birth is a bridge too far. Only seven countries on earth allow elective late-term abortions. We're talking about brutal regimes like communist China and North Korea. We should be able to agree that contraception should be more available, not less. And we can all agree that women who get abortions should not be jailed. A few have even called for the death penalty. That's the least pro-life position I can possibly imagine. Those are just some areas where national consensus is already within reach. There are others, too, and we should do the hard work to find them through heartfelt dialogue. 